So there's two different types of project management. There's waterfall and there's agile. Um, waterfall is very systematic. It's you start from this point and you know here's the endpoint we want to reach. So in the beginning you set up a plan that says we're going to go here, 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 and at the end we'll end up at this spot. On the other hand, Agile basically says, this is where we're starting, this is where we think we want to end up. However, on, on the way there, we're just going to take one piece and we'll reevaluate, and we'll do another part and we'll reevaluate, and we'll do another part and we'll reevaluate, and we'll keep kind of learning and, and adjusting as we go. Uh, the, the old saying basically says, you know, waterfall takes you from here to here, start to finish, as efficiently as possible. Uh, However, the problem is that this, most of the time, is the wrong point that you want to finish up at. Versus Agile, maybe you, you kind of go along and then you readjust and you pivot and you pivot a little bit and you keep kind of moving. And it's, it's not as much of a straight line, it's more of a wiggly line, but you end up over here. And the difference is this is where you actually want to be. So that's, that's the big differences between Waterfall and Agile. The other day, a friend of mine, I was kind of explaining that to him, and I was saying that, you know, I believe that Agile is definitely the only way to build exceptional products. Uh, and he said, well, okay, Curveball, I, you know, I have all these chain restaurants around me that are national chains that make tons of money, and, and those restaurants, they obviously use the waterfall method. You know, they have a set like, here's how you're gonna do each meal and this is exactly the steps you'll take and here's the end product. And if you went in there and said, hey, surprise, we got new ingredients today, and we're changing up the menu, they would all freak out and the end product would be horrible. Uh, things would not get delivered on time, they wouldn't taste right, uh, probably would end up costing too much and they wouldn't make any money and, and everything just goes wrong. So how can you tell me Agile is the best. And I, I took a second and I stopped and I thought about it and I said, you know, in a way, you're absolutely right. However, I would say the absolute best restaurants in the world, they all use Agile every single day. What happens at those restaurants is the head chef he goes out to the market that morning and he says, what's the latest fish that you've caught? What's the freshest? What, what fruits do you have that are like the perfect level of ripeness? What vegetables do you have that taste the greatest that are in season at this moment? And then he takes these absolute best ingredients you can possibly get your hands on, he takes them back to the restaurant, and sure, they, they have a menu that's you know, fairly set up, but they're able to take that menu that they're planning on doing and adapt quickly and say, here are these exceptional ingredients. How do we adapt what we're planning on doing to use these exceptional ingredients to make a meal that's gonna be drastically better than what it could have been? And that's why those restaurants are the best restaurants in the world. That's why people line up in droves to go to them. That's why they are famous uh, versus your you know, national chain restaurants, which you know, uh, nothing wrong with it, but they provide a very mediocre product, you know? Um, and so, and, and I take that, you know, that, that agile methodology and say it couldn't have worked without that. But what's the core difference between, you know, your chain restaurant team over here and your, you know, truly exceptional, make the best restaurant in the entire world, agile team over here? This team was being, it was number one, built from people that have, you know, all put in their 10,000 hours. They're all, they're all like the, the best at what they do. And then on top of that, you take these people who are the best at what they do, and you add on this process that embraces them being exceptional, as well as the products that are, you know, or, or changes that can come and uh, that can make something better and smashes them together in a way that they're able to adapt very quickly and produce something that's even better. Now, but you have to have those things. You, you can't take another team of people that are kind of like, hey, I, I got a job today and you know, I, I'm coming into work and I was told to do these five things, and all of a sudden say, hey, here's new ingredients, go with it. You, know, it's, you have to have a team, a process that can adapt to those changes. So in our industry, it's very much the same thing. 
You know, we, we have to have a team of truly exceptional people that have been trained for years and years and years to use this process that now can take the freshest, greatest ingredients, which in our case is information we learn from focus groups, information, uh, new partnerships that become available that weren't available yesterday, new technologies that just hit the market. So we take all these new ingredients, give them to an exceptional team with an exceptional process, and from that they're able to turn back something that's one of the best in the world. Can you do products in a waterfall method? Yes, you can. However, you end up with that same mediocre product. The agile process with the right team and the right people allows you to produce something that's truly the greatest in the world, something that's truly exceptional. So that's why I think it's the only way to build products.